Ahoy me mateys! I'm gonna play a new game. I'm still gonna finish Detroit Become Human, but I just wanted to mix it up a little bit, you know, cause like, I just be making choices all the time and it's just a lot of thinking and stress cause as we all know, I have a Libra moon, which means I'm very indecisive. It's just the facts. Whoa. Don't come at me with that. That's very promising. That's very, that's scary. A lot of you said that I would enjoy this game. So yeah, should we just cut the shit and do it? Press X to begin. Here we go. Hopefully I'm good at this game because I prefer games that I'm good at. Oh, so I got the big fat one. I got all four seasons because I'm like, fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna do it the whole thing. Will this take me two years to finish? Maybe. Standard. I need all the help I can get, thank you. I'm a little scared, you know, like. No. Fuck. Oh God. More choices. Oh God. You know, that's okay, cause, um, Everything just fell apart in my life. Just pretend nothing happened. Okay, I already love the art. Like, it looks watercolor, cartoon, like that is dope. That's amazing. Wow. Into those eyebrows. Oh. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Uh. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent. A lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? I don't know my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Touchy subject. Fine. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. No, I'm not. I, I don't even know what's going on, but what the hell? I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Our are available for him coming to one step. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a Why fussy is he baby that? on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. Stupid and I'm idiot. forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Fucking asshole. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits oh. in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. I don't know what it to goes believe. To show. 
people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. Well, Dad. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if oh, I do say okay. so. Oh, okay. other time. <laughs> zombies we say zombies in this game right not infected oh shit thirsty ah fuck my leg his gun out. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Yeah, maybe. Kick. Oh. Ah, uh. uh. oh, shit. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Uh, sit once more. Ah. Uh. Oh, fuck, that was so painful. Holy shit. Take keys. Unlock. <laughs> what? What the hell? Is he afraid he's gonna wake up? Okay, I'm looking at him. 
and I'm going away. He's disgusting. Get away from me! Uh, oh. Okay, sorry. Uh, I didn't realize I could do that. What in the hell? I've looked at him and I'm done. What the fuck are you? What happened? Look at this. What guy. happened? Back up. Yes. Okay. This is what I did not. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. I will get this. Oh fuck. Get, get it. Away from me. Get it. Put it in. Load it up. Don't make me do this. Boom! Trigger, shoot. Okay. Whew. Nice, nice. Yikes. That was wow. Anybody's home. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Examine tea set. That that does sound like the first thing we should be doing. One of those teacups with some bourbon, if I could. <laughs> Help! No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Okay, let's go inside then, shall we? It's kind of scary that he walks like one of the dead. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Screw it. I'm just gonna go in. Hello? There's something going on. Do it. Doesn't seem like anybody's home. Wait, why can't I do it? Oh, I see. Sorry, okay. Coming in. I'm gonna mess up quite a Don't few shoot, more times okay? before I really get it. The game. Yes, we go. An intruder, or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Good observation. Oh, that's hella good.
pool of blood. Jesus. Hey. Oh. I thought we saw that. Oh man, dude. Oh shit, there's a lot. What's that beeping? Oh damn, there's like a million things to do. Open every every single drawer and shit. Hello? He seems to be handling this pretty well considering it's actually in a zombie apocalypse and like that's this place has been ransacked. Kinda Just new. about anything worthwhile is gone. Okay. Um, oh my god, okay, wow, it's a lot. Go through it all, yeah. Paper towels, they're nice. Okay. There are three new messages. Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. But anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Daddy? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Oh. Oh, that was a little girl he saw. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <sighs> oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. Uh, I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh, uh... Um... Okay, well if we left... Where the fuck would we go? I guess we could look for help, but like, as if anyone knows what's going on, like, nobody could be of any help. But if we left, like, where would we go? I guess reunite her with her family is the only thing worth leaving the house for. Like, why would you even leave the house? Just protect it and live. Like, it's over. You know what I mean? Just give up. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um... Why would we leave? Let's just we get help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's Let's what go. I was thinking. Stay it's close to me. Day. <sighs> yeah. But see, I think, you know, nighttime also has a certain element of safety because it's dark. I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong. You probably can't go right either, though, you know, like... Sorry, did my eye just hit this mess? Okie dokie. Why do I have that, like, little walkie-talkie thingy? I'll follow you, girl. I don't know where we're going. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. <laughs> oh, it's hot dish night. What? Hot dish night? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? True. Um... I will leave you alone. Yeah. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> he is walking. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. The chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hmm. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. Cute. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. Oh. I'm not a dad. I'm...
A good Samaritan. Yeah, a good Samaritan. Here we go. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Uh... The monster's coming. We gotta go. <laughs> Those guys, not good Samaritans. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Hmm. Seems nice. Hope his mom's okay. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's a good Samaritan. Honey, do you know this man? Oh, God. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Ugh, you mean Herschel knows my name? Why How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Oh, fuck. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Fuck. Nobody. Is that so? Fuck. Yeah, it is. You said we. Oh, fuck. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three. Herschel will definitely remember that. You and your Thanks daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Oh, God. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Should have just said hey, we Dad, were going home. So but... I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Shit. Your son's, Your son's right. right. You're going to want to fortify this place. 
Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Oh, Dad, I'm serious. Fucking Lee, idiot. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. If somebody I said that, said, okay. would that be your response? Like, uh, well, do whatever. I'm all done here. But I gotta do the laundry. To better tomorrow. Tend to the Thanks. plants. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? They'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. Not That'd funny! There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Read the room! And tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Oh. All right, then. It smells like... Piss. Shit. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> plops. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh my god, what the hell happened? Did he do something? It must hey, not have been him. Get up. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? What a dick. I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going. You're lucky we there are the worms in your ears, little lady. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? Oh. <laughs> He's an Where it is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Chuck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, That's so sweet. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's OK. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? 
With those guns, what's the point? Yeah, honestly. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Let's talk to you. Sir. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Oh. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Dolphin? Gotcha wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Fucking hell, dude. Fuck See you. Me. Goodbye. Should I learn about more? Hey there. Hey. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Well, that's healthy. See ya. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. <laughs> okay, dude. It's actually just a piece of shit. He's starting to walk better. That's good. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Cute. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Yeah. Just to length, yeah. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what That's I would do with that information either. Thanks. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Let's talk to you, sir. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Afraid of the daddy -o, you know. He seems like the type to get us be very suspicious and then, you know, paranoid and get us all fucked. Let's talk to you just a little you bit. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey. So, uh,. What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Duh. 
Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. <laughs> this is tagline. Back in a bit. Lady, if we can't even get through a pandemic, do you really think that you're gonna get through a zombie apocalypse? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Oh, God! I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. <laughs> if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? I don't know where my ex-wife is. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. You're such a dick. No! I'll get my gun! No! No! Oh my god! The fence is already saving you! What? My leg is stuck on me! Wait, dust! What about dust? Holy shit! I got you! Kenny! No, please! Kenny! Kenny! We're not gonna be strong enough for this. No! Fuck! No! No! I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. He just got infected. He got me, man. It's... Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I... Oh, God.
You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. I think that's a good idea, going to Macon to find his parents. Like, what else are we gonna do? This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Oh. <laughs> we did do it. Okay. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Where's Duck? What is it? I, I have to pee. Oh. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. Then just go! That's not We've what got I meant. kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Thought, Maybe you should go join them then. I meant like... You'll have something in common. Go God pee. damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just That's ran That's not out what there. I meant! She's not wrong. They took a risk. Oh, fuck yes, we did. me. And that we was so it. stupid. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop it! Hey, what do we do about this guy? I'm so fucking Dad, stupid. it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. We reason with him. Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. This they dude will is find a fucking us, dictator. And they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Shut the fuck up. Right You're now, all gonna we're end up about dead. To be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. I should have said stop something. This. It's I upsetting know. him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. He's such an idiot. Oh. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. No, Lee! Probably. Ah! Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. 
Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! <gasps> no! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> Oh, that was good timing. Come on. Come on. Get up. So fucking stupid. Should have been in a minute. Okay. Just great, thanks. Hmm. Uh, guys. Uh. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. I gotta get in. Shut up. He goes first. because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Up. Uh, uh, uh. Did you just have a heart attack? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. To save him? He was going to get them all killed. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. You won't need it. Cool. Is it attached to Clementine's Clementine? got the other one. Okay. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on Lily and Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with and Doug I'm when Carly. he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. No. How about no? Energy bar. Yes, please. But what's up your ass? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh! What are you messing around with there? Radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. 
Thanks. It's been like I one wouldn't even day. really know what to look for. It's not like everything's broken and gone. What? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Okay. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Maybe I should have said not now, huh? It's low key kind of sketchy. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Please. Okay. Okay. Cool. Wow. Drugs. They just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, shit. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Fuck. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. I think that's a good place to take a pause because... It's kind of scary. Um, but good game. Joked about it. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. <laughs>